All right, so one of the biggest overlooked uh, maintenance things on a tow truck, especially a wrecker, is going to be this wheel lift bushing back here. Nobody, and I mean nobody, takes care of this thing. So over time, uh, there's actually two discs in this model, and as, as it moves and it gets used, they get thinner and thinner and thinner, and that bushing in there gets worn. So right now, we have a lot of slop in there. So some models, you can actually uh, tighten up that bushing. There's uh, some pins and stuff that are adjustable. Um, but right now what I'm doing is I'm going to be cleaning all this up, uh, figuring out what I need to get for here, trying to look at the condition of all this stuff. And I've just used a PB Blaster, breaker bar, and a lot of heat to get these bolts free without actually busting them. So that way I can drop this bottom block plate out, pop this bushing, which is uh, actually just welded to this giant thing. And there's this tab here so it don't spin. And uh, then we can see the condition of everything and I can pop it out and clean it and uh, make it functional again. Uh, one of the biggest indicators that this is worn out is when you're backing up to a vehicle and your wheel lift um, is wanting to like turn back and forth and you gotta get out and readjust it and all that. That pretty much means that this uh, wheel lift bushing is either too loose or worn out and it needs some attention. Um, also, on this particular style, something that people don't really know about is there is supposed to be this little ball detent feature that's supposed to keep it straight. It's kind of hard to see. Turn on the light here. This little uh, ball detent feature. You can kind of see it back there. We'll see it better when we pull it out. That's supposed to keep it straight. It gets stuck and worn out and the spring gets all, you know, whatever over time. So it doesn't really work that well anymore. Um, so that's going to be another good thing to clean out and try to get going again. So I'm going to drop this out, pound that pin out, and uh, I'll try to get back to you when I get all this stuff apart. All right, so you can see uh, just how worn out these pivot plates are. They have been on here forever, and I can guarantee you these are the original ones. Um, they're basically uh, like a nylon plasticky, and they're the wear component for, for spinning. So if I got new pivot plates, um, that would probably tighten it up a bunch. And then this is, if you notice that ball detent in here, that recessed area, there's a giant ball bearing that's supposed to be spring-loaded, but it gets just seized over time with old grease and dirt and stuff. So that's supposed to uh, spring out and push. Let me see if I can get that spring out. Uh, let's put that right here so I don't lose it. And then I actually made this a long time ago. Perfect, tiny little hook. Perfect for stuff like this. So here's that spring. And uh, it's kind of old, kind of worn out. Doesn't seem like it's extended as much as it should be. But we're going to clean all of that out and get all of this nice and fresh and hopefully get this thing moving again so that ball detent actually does something. So I've got a couple different uh, wire wheels here. There is a bronze bushing in here also. And uh, that is going to be a little bit worn out. There is going to be some slop in there. So even if I do replace these, it's not going to be perfect. And then also, uh, I've towed some really heavy stuff, and I'm sure this thing's been used and abused. So the arms on uh, this clamp, one of them's a little bit bent out, so I'll put it in the press, get it a little bit more together. So, what am I doing? Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna clean as much as I can off of this area so I can actually uh, get it clean and then put fresh grease in there. Because a lot of this old built up cake stuff is full of dirt and bad for it. Mm. 
Now that it's clean, um, you can see that there's actually a bronze bushing in here. And there's little rings inside that bushing, which is supposed to help grease flow throughout it and get to different areas. Uh, this is steel, obviously. And then this is the pivot pin that goes inside that bronze bushing. It's supposed to be tight with zero play. But as you can see, there's a little bit of wiggle. Oops. Hard to do this one-handed. I'll do this. See, there's quite a bit of wiggle in there. That's supposed to be very tight, so I should get a new bronze bushing as well. Um, and they're not terribly hard to put in. They still suck. But since it is, uh, it's not terribly hard to take apart. I think I'm just going to do the wear rings and see how much the bushing is. So we're going to clean off all that. This is a combination of various cleaning things. Uh, clean off all that. Uh, clean off in there. Get all that grease out because uh, the spring and the ball go in there. And the ball is supposed to push into here to try to keep it centered. Um, and it's spring loaded, so like if you back up to a car, it's supposed to keep it centered until it feels enough resistance that ball will kind of come in, come around, and you can actually like line up to the wheels and whatever. But, uh, all right. All right, um, it's gonna be a bad angle, but basically we got a grease fitting here. It's supposed to come out that port there go around this groove into the grooves in the bronze bushing and uh, lubricate everything. So while you're here, you want to actually put a grease gun on there, squeeze, and we can see that our grease fitting is functioning properly. So that is good. Sometimes they get clogged up or the, the grease zerk uh, gets a little corroded and won't take grease anymore, but this one's fine.